Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. I do really appreciate all of your continued support as we roll into my third year here on YouTube, believe it or not. Today I have one of my favorite monthly lifestyle boxes and that is Hugo Box. This is the deluxe box. Now they have a standard box for $29 per month plus $10 in shipping. The deluxe box is $40 per month plus $12 in shipping. But for both of those, if you are able to do a longer subscription up front, you can save a little money. I will leave a link for you in the description box below. Now if you're someone who absolutely loves fall and winter because it is so comfy and cozy this is the box for you not just in the fall and winter months but year-round because that is what Hugo is that Danish concept of coziness and warmth and really savoring the simple and slow moments in life I absolutely love getting this box and it's one of the reasons why I get the deluxe box is because I don't like to feel the FOMO with this one there's usually one or two extra items in the deluxe box and often they are some of my favorite pieces now let's go ahead and get into this one and see what we have got. I will tell you that this time it came in an outer mailer. Now it often comes in an outer mailer, which I appreciate because these boxes are so great for regifting. but there was another box inside that obviously did not fit in the uh, smaller Hugo box. So we're going to see what that is on our little product card. So inside it is really nice. They do tell you about the idea of Hugo on the inside that's always printed on the interior. And then they have returned to their little square postcard little art prints for you to use as a seasonal decor if you want to. It says small autumn pleasures. Very cute. It kind of mimics some of the uh, items that are on the box itself like a nice little uh, cozy sweater and some pumpkins and stuff. And then on the back it tells us all about the items. They kind of put the actual item in bold. They don't give us the retail values but I do think that you're definitely getting your money's worth with this box. Not necessarily a much higher value than that but again it is often for the experience, the coziness, the warmth, the delight of opening this box every month. They always promise that there will be an element of light as well as an edible indulgence. So of course I love both of those things. I'm going to prop this up in front of me so that I can read a little bit about it as we go through. So inside they have switched up their tissue paper which usually happens like once a quarter. So this time it is just a solid kind of a mauve color. I don't think I've said like mauve in a long time. Um, so kind of a rosy color. Let me go ahead and tear the tissue paper open and see what we've got. So it looks like there's kind of some extra space in there this time around because we did have that extra box. So let me just peel this back and then you guys can kind of take a quick peek inside. Everything sort of nestled inside of all of that shred and I will do my best. So there's a little message. It says nest. I guess that's kind of the theme. It says as the temperature drops, thoughts turn to indoors, a chance to enjoy the favorite parts of your home at its best. Indulge in slow living, surround yourself with good coffee and tasty stroop waffles. Calming comforts cannot be rushed so light a candle pull up a blanket and reclaim joy restorative quiet never felt so good so usually there's some spoilers kind of nestled in that opening paragraph I'm not super excited about the stroop waffles I feel like we get stroop waffles every fall and winter from different subscription boxes I think they are great when I am actually there in Europe but honestly the ones that we get in the boxes are not usually that great even when you warm them up on your cup as you're supposed to but let's go ahead and keep our keep our minds open the first thing I'm actually seeing is very like kawaii. It actually feels like it should be in a totally different subscription box to me. It's some little um, page markers, but it's like with these cute little cartoon characters on it. So let me see if I can find this on here. So it says, stay on top of all your notes, reminders, and to do with these adorable sticky tabs. You can also use them to mark the pages of things you'd like to do and try in your, and I'm not going to tell you because I think that that is another spoiler. So pretty darn cute. So we have these little sticky tabs. You can see See, there's like five different designs and then this one is actually a notepad as well I wouldn't actually want to write on him I don't know what that is if it's like a little chipmunk or what it is but pretty cute to have these little uh, page tabs kind of sticking out of your book if you're someone who is in a book club and you want to have those passages marked so you can talk about them at length I have a lot of them it's just kind of interesting to me um, just because it doesn't feel like something that I would normally receive in a Hugo box which I usually think of being a little bit more like Scandi design in terms of like a very clean and minimal 
minimalist aesthetic even though you guys know me i love my kawaii stuff so very very cute but sort of unexpected all right let's keep going so here is wow okay so these are kind of like these are fancy stroop waffles i will say now i'm used to getting the like dutch brothers ones like a packet of two um but this one is from the old mill and we actually got eight stroop waffles so you guys these are like these wafer cookies that are filled with a layer of caramel and just in case you've never seen them before and then you put them right on top of your coffee or your tea mug so they get nice and warm you can even kind of zap them in the microwave if you have to but i advise not doing that and then they get nice and soft and chewy and i do like a nice soft chewy cookie I love caramel it's just for some reason it's not like my go-to like indulgence but I'm pretty excited to give these a try just because they look so gosh darn authentic so let's see what it says about these it says the old mill stroop waffle is baked from an early 1800 family recipe near the founding city of Gouda a stroop waffle is a wafer cookie made from two thin layers of baked dough joined by a caramel filling the Dutch way to eat stroop waffles is to place the cookie on top of a cup or hot tea of hot tea or coffee and wait a minute for it to soften turn over if needed and eat warm yum so all right so I'm excited because it's like a different brand I think that I've had before and it looks a little bit more like the ones you actually do pick up when you are there in uh, Holland so this is our element of light which is coming up next which is by Hugo House which I kind of think is like their in-house brand and it's a little bit of a bigger um, candle than we usually get often we get little um, mason jar sizes and this is in a pretty amber candle or in a pretty amber jar instead of a clear one this time so the scent is pumpkin chai so transport yourself to a crisp autumn day at the pumpkin patch with hints of cinnamon, vanilla, cloves, and nutmeg. All right, so it says, perfect for days when you're craving your favorite fall, what does this say? Be beverage, but in candle form. Pumpkin chai brings a cozy comfort feel to any home with the perfect mix of sugar, spice, and everything nice. It was like in the tiniest, tiniest, faintest font, you guys. T took me a little while. So let's go ahead and give this a sniff. If you love your pumpkin spice chai, this is definitely the candle for you. Now, this is the kind of scent that I'm not usually a super big fan of in the fall months. I love my um, pumpkin spice chais. Um, I like a pumpkin spice latte, like the actual PSLs. But um, sometimes the sweeter scent candles can give me a bit of a headache if I burn them for too long. That could have something to do with just me living in a really small space. But I tend to only be able to burn them for like maybe an hour and it has to be like out in the living room where it can kind of like waft everywhere. So it says, let's see, treat yourself to the perfect mix of sugar, spice, and everything nice. Pumpkin chai is a cozy, comforting blend of pumpkin with hints of cinnamon, vanilla, cloves, nutmeg a warm and inviting scent perfectly suited for the autumn season so i saw that and i thought they were actually talking about an actual pumpkin chai mix that we were going to get in the box but i'm assuming even though it doesn't have the word candle in it that it is for this candle that we got so that is nice i might pass it on to someone else just because i'm lucky enough to have so many candles in store and my husband is not a huge fan of the spicier candle scents either this is exciting though so this kind of goes along with our uh, stroop waffles so let me just kind of dust it off it's from back porch coffee roasters out of bend oregon it's a pour over pack so it's single serve coffee these are so great for traveling and my husband and i are planning a little very short road trip just kind of get out and about so this is something that i like to take along with me so that i can have some like quality coffee on the go so let's see it says quality micro batch boutique coffee after researching and developing Developing this product for over for the last year back porch coffee roasters are happy to introduce their single serve pour over coffee packs made with medium roasted coffee sourced directly out of Nariño Colombia you experience cherry toffee and chocolate notes that sounds delicious each box contains two single serve coffee packs so one to share so these are kind of cool they actually have like a little um, there's a little filter basically that you sort of expand and set on the edges of the coffee cup and then you just pour your hot water over that. I have to like sometimes uh, wait a little bit because it gets really full and you have to let it slowly filter through. So I did find when we use that on our sort of uh, camping trip, sort of glamping trip to Yosemite, I would have to like wait and like let it sit for a little while before I could pour the rest of it to get an actual full cup of coffee. But Again, super duper helpful to have, especially when you don't necessarily want to make an entire pot of coffee, but you'd have a nice, like, uh, uh, something that you can make hot water with really easily. So 
I will definitely be taking those with me. And then it looks like we have just one more item in the box proper, and then we'll look, check out that other box. So this says Reclaim Joy. So this was the uh, little spoiler that was alluded to that the uh, page markers go along with, where you can actually mark your pages. So we got a nice book. It is a guided journal. Now you guys know if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time how I am about guided journals. I think they are a fantastic concept. I've received such beautiful guided journals, but I am just terrible about actually doing them. The idea of it, and I think the benefits of journaling are immense and amazing. However, I just don't have that discipline. It says this is a guided journal to discover simple pleasures every day. So it has 365 ideas. I think that's great because you don't have to wait for the new year to kind of do that sort of year long change or habit forming, which is what I really need to do. If I could get to 365 days, that would be amazing. But like if I could get to like five days in a row, that would be amazing. So let's see what it says. Who doesn't need more joy in their days? Simple can be delightful, free can mean rich, and nature can offer the most powerful, plentiful, and bountiful treasures of all. Reclaim Joy offers 365 experiment, experiential prompts and rituals and plenty of space to draw, write, and find joy, teaching and inspiring you how to live a slower, back to the earth, less cluttered, and more peaceful life. Amin Rushton will show you how to notice, find, and experience the simple things that can bring happiness back into our everyday lives. So I love that, that it gives us some ideas, you know, how to savor things and it is really pretty in terms of being uh, full color pages you can kind of see just there along the edge that it's got like almost a rainbow effect so I do think that's fun and it makes it fun and like visually appealing um, in terms of uh, getting involved and really filling this out I do wish that these guided journals you guys I really wish that they came spiral bound so that they would lay flat because then I can really get into the doodling and the writing and being the perfectionist that I am I generally don't like to go ahead and start these because one I know that I won't finish them but also I want someone else to have that experience who could really benefit from it so I'm still waiting for someone to create the uh, perfect guided journal for me it does have these nice flaps as well where you can kind of mark a couple of pages front and back but it does look like it's got some fun like sort of easy things to do there's a couple like little longer sort of readings that you can do in terms of finding some inspiration and obviously you could just write the dates they actually did number the different 365 ideas um, but there are a lot of spaces to sort of journal and doodle like they said probably not something that I will personally use now let's just go over everything that was in the standard box so you got the pumpkin chai candle which is lovely if those are your kinds of fall scents we got the two coffee packs which I'm the most excited about a nice pack of eight stroop waffles to go along with that coffee of course we got this reclaim joy guided journal which I think is probably sort of the uh, not quite hero item but probably the highest valued item in there and then we got those cute little sticky tabs so I'm very happy in this situation that I got the deluxe box, which has this one additional item. Sometimes I'll get the box and think, oh, I could have like saved a little money and the standard box would have been great because I don't necessarily want or need that extra item. But in this case, I feel like this last item really kind of pulls everything together. So let's go ahead and get into it. The deluxe box also includes a mug. So that is what is hiding in here. So let me see if I can get into this box. And of course it is wrapped nicely. I'm glad they didn't try to just like smash it into the bigger box without that, um, the extra cardboard so it has lots of bubble wrap in there we have gotten some gorgeous mugs from Hugie Box in the past I've passed a lot of them on to friends but like they do have a really uh, fun aesthetic in terms of the ones they pick out and this one I absolutely love so instead of it being sort of like quirky which some of the mugs from them have been this is just very Hugie to me and it just says homebody on it which is totally me as someone who likes to work from home it's kind of got a nice glaze here on the top part and then and it's sort of raw glaze here on the very very bottom so there's a little uh, like sense of color blocking almost it is printed on both sides so it doesn't matter if you are right-handed or left-handed for drinking nice and plain on the inside I think this is a beautiful simple very Hugin mug so it says make a statement with every sip using this stoneware style mug it's delicate speckled design natural bottom and double-sided debossed home body design may make this mug your go-to for that first sip of
of morning coffee. This Hugelig mug can hold 14 ounces of your favorite drink and is perfectly sized to warm up a Stroop waffle. Time to Hugel. So let's see if this is from Sweetwater Decor, which we have lots of uh, mugs from Sweetwater Decor. And it does say that it is dishwasher safe, which is awesome. And it is microwave safe because there's no like metallic elements on there. So you guys know that is definitely key to me loving and holding on to a mug because I have very limited mug space. But I think this one might make the cut just because I love the simplicity of it. This is definitely, definitely my favorite item. And I think it is well worth the additional cost for the deluxe box in this person, in this actual case. If you guys let me know what you thought about this month's box, what your favorite item was, if you're good about using those guided journals and savoring the uh, small and simple moments in life. I try to do that anyway, even without journal prompts, but sometimes it is nice to have that extra bit of help. So it's often nice for me to just kind of flip through those, even if I don't actually mark down anything on the pages. I could just use my sticky tabs, I guess. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel out. And I would love to hear from you in the comments below and see you very, very soon in my next unboxing.